Okay. So we're now in week 10. We're going to have our quiz on Excel and Word on Thursday. Okay. Now, we're going to start a new software, which is SketchUp. So you have here in Linda, uh, sorry, not Linda, LinkedIn Now, uh, the course that we're going to look into SketchUp 2018. There's a 2019 essential training as well. So it's uh, nice to take a look at that. We're going to uh, do SketchUp 1, exercise number one. Uh, it's uh, about the exterior of the house that we have been doing. That's the exercise. Okay, so you see the drawings done in CAD, exercise three, four, five, and six. We're going to be focusing on the walls for that particular house for exercise one. And then exercise two will be doing the uh, roof and the floor. And then exercise three will add some materials and do a short animation. Okay. You do have access to SketchUp Pro here in the CAD labs. If you want to install uh, this into your computers, I place here a link uh, for SketchUp Make. You do need to create an account and uh, download, I guess. I'm using SketchUp Pro. It's uh, likewise provided by the college or by SketchUp. And it's actually recommended to maybe purchase a student version Right, it's 55 per year. I have a student uh, who learned SketchUp here. He bought the software and he said it's really advisable. And he asked me to tell students that he finds it advisable. He's actually going. He's actually going to give a talk regarding the things that he's doing now with SketchUp. So he's already graduate. He's a technologist. He took the technologist course, and he's using it for his small business. And <coughs> during one of the talks, uh, he'll, he's going to share his experience. So that's something to take a look into. So maybe attend that uh, creative talk uh, when it happens and you'll find out why he bought the software. Anyway, uh, so we do need to log in. There are floor plans, south elevation, north elevation, west elevation, and east elevation. So these are drawings that we're going to be using. So <coughs> I want you to uh, copy this or save that image to your D drive. Save. And we'll try to open SketchUp. So look for SketchUp. I think it's right here. Or you can type SketchUp 2019. <coughs> So it opens. Now you have to acce accept the terms and condition for the use of this software. Say continue. And you get this welcome to SketchUp screen. Now there are different templates that you can use so you have inches, meter, architectural inches, and there's architecture meter. We'll just use the simple meter for now. And click on that to open. Now you might need to create an account, especially when we try to use the 3D warehouse. So there are different models that are available for use. Now, SketchUp is a 3D application. So you'll see this nice cool guy here with this uh, map of the, is that the world? Okay, so that gives you an idea of how high or tall the scale is for this drawing. So this guy should be about six foot tall. So that's high. That's how high six foot will be. Okay. Now, if you hold down the middle button, the roll 
cotton okay and move around you're able to orbit around your model okay if you hold down the shift key okay so if you hold down the sh middle mouse button you get an orbit if you hold down the shift key you're able to pan around okay so you can actually type H for hand and you get that pan option okay now you have other tools here so you have the select tool but normally I will just hold down the middle mouse button to orbit and then hold down the shift key to pan okay of course if you roll down roll the middle mouse button up and down it will roll uh, zoom in to the area where your cursor is located so that's really nice okay so hold down the shift key to pan orbit and the like so you have the line tool l is the shortcut so you have the line tool or a pencil right here so you can do lines or freehand drawings normally I just use the line tool and you can create lines so if you click here notice that I am aligned to the red axis I'm drawing along the red axis it's like ortho on okay I can move here it snaps to the green axis so this normally is the X direction positive X direction that will be the Y direction and then you have the Z direction so if you align yourself to the blue okay that's moving or drawing along the Z direction okay so if you point your cursor your line towards the red and type a value of let's say 3 enter okay that gives you a, a nice line measured at the length of 3 now what's 3 in units since we said metric if we click on the uh, measuring tool or type T you can measure this and then it gives you the value right here at the bottom right you see the, <laughs> the value of your line or the length of your line so right now it's currently at 3 nice okay so again I can type L I can go to the green direction okay and type let's say 2 okay and then move back notice that it tries to snap to and connect to the starting point so that's what we call inferencing so that's nice and then these are a bunch of lines uh, anytime you close a polygon like so it creates the polygon and also creates the square or the surface so anytime you have an enclosed polygon a surface is created now if on the other hand you delete a line that closes that surface or polygon that surface will be deleted so that's the nature of SketchUp so you can hit and do control Z this is the erasing tool erase tool it's always better to use erase rather than the delete key so always make a habit of doing an erase or using the eraser tool you can click and drag click and drag to erase so that's often how you erase something in SketchUp so hit undo now here you have uh, different tools so you have your menu bar and your interface okay. so let's do an offset okay. so F is the shortcut for offset or you can click this button right here offset you can click on the edge and then you can release and after you 
do a an offset like so you can actually type the value of the offset so let's say you want to uh, make this the wall thickness of let's say 0.2 enter then that changes to 0.2 uh, uh, the distance of your offset so that's how you create offset you click you drag and then you change the value 0.2 enter okay so again click you can release you don't have to click and drag you just release and then click again and then type the value 0.2 okay 